Millionaires of Bramwell or the Wildcats of Payton City. Introducing uh, Bramwell's head coach, Robert Ray. Payton City's head coach, Bob Burton. The assistant coaches for Bramwell, Dale Lee and Tom Bailey. Assistant coaches for Payton City, Jamie Natale and Jeff Bowers. The manager for Bramwell is Percy Trent. Managers for Payton City, Rob Blatt and Jeff Hayes. Lions Club host for, Bram for Bramwell is Art Crimmins. Lions Club host for Payton City is Joe Hogue. And now here are the squads. For Bramwell, number 24 is Alan Baldwin. For Payton City, number 33 is Mark Rexroad. For the Millionaires, number 34, Mose Cuthbertson. For the Wildcats, number 31 is Bill Wax. From Bram Bramwell, number 22 is Anthony Walton. From Payton City, number 35, Lance Heasley. For the Millionaires, wearing number 50, Terry Akers. For the Wildcats, wearing number 13 is Aaron Jones. From Bramwell, number 20, Richard Workman. From Payton City, number 43, Jeff Anderson. For the Millionaires, number 10 is Roy Rice. For the Wildcats, number 21 is David McEldowney. For Bramwell, number 30, Brian Rutherford. And for Payton City, number 25, David Yater. Now your starting lineups for Bramwell at guard. A 5'7 senior, number 12, Chris Shoemaker. For Payton City at guard, a 5'10 junior, number 15, Mike Morris. For the Millionaires at center, a 6-foot senior, number 42, Sean Reif. For the Wildcats at guard, 5'11 senior, number 23, Mitch Kerber. For Bramwell at forward, a 6'4 junior, number 44, Sean Jenkins. For Payton City at center, a 6'6 junior, number 45, Mike Harlan. For the Millionaires at forward, a 6'3 junior, number 40, Lamont Woods. For the Wildcats at forward, a 6'2 senior, number 41, Barry Suter. We're rounding out the starting fives for Bramwell at guard, a 6'2 junior, number 32, Scott Goins. For Payton City at forward, a 6'2 senior, number 11, Troy Cooper. It's game time, and the tip-off is next after this message from Davis and Elkins College. Davis and Elkins College, just listen to our winning record. Al Hall, Director of In-House Educational Programs at George Washington University Hospital. Varsity Basketball, Davis and Elkins College. Missy Hambrack, a Charleston attorney who was chosen as the outstanding graduate of the West Virginia University Law School in 1986. Varsity Basketball, Davis and Elkins College. Cindy Palmier. College Admissions Director, Varsity Hockey, Davis and Elkins College. Dwayne Tinsley, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney for Fayette County, West Virginia. Varsity Basketball, Davis and Elkins College. Pam Boyd, Coach of the United States Olympic Handball Team, Varsity Hockey and Basketball, Davis and Elkins College. Con Davis, President of Bellows International Limited of the Virgin Islands, All-America Varsity Soccer, Davis and Elkins College. Casey Crump, Head Women's Basketball Coach at Texas Women's University, Varsity Basketball and Magna Cum Laude graduate, Davis and Elkins College. Davis and Elkins College, Elkins, West Virginia, where athletes are students too. This copyrighted broadcast is authorized under rights granted by the West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission through the Metro News Radio Network, solely for the entertainment of our listening audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the description and account of this game without the written consent of the Metro News Radio Network is strictly prohibited. The announcers on this broadcast have been approved by the West Virginia SSAC and are employed by the Metro News Radio Network. 
Now here's Fred Persinger. The Peyton City Wildcats, the visitors on the scoreboard, the millionaires of Bramwell. They're the home team. Basketball in the air, tip controlled by the home team, the Bramwell Millionaires. Chris Shoemaker, the 5'7 senior point guard, will get it in the front court and start the offensive attack. In the corner, he sends it to number 42, Sean Reif. Is Reif, now he's not been active at all in the basketball game so far. Inside to get it to Jenkins, his shot won't go. Uh, but the personal foul going to be whistled against Peyton City. Reif is not a scorer. He averages about five, six points a game, but he does a pretty good job on the boards for the millionaires, Jay. Fred, he's a role player. He's a guy that comes in there. He's not asked to do a lot of scoring. Right away, Peyton City jumped out in that 2 3 zone, played it very tight, going to force Shoemaker to let him take that outside shot. But Bramwell's electing to go right inside. This is a tough player on the line right now. Sean Jenkins, a 6 4 junior, gets the first of two free throws, and also right away, Troy Cooper picks up the first personal foul. That'll be a key point to watch. I'll tell you, I know you're ready, Fred. You got that shirt unbuttoned, that tie's loose, and you're ready for a good one. And Sean Jenkins makes both of them. This is it. This is what it's all about. 26-0 against 26-0 for the Class Single-A Championship. 2-0 you score. Bramwell on top. Peyton City with the basketball. Far side, Mike Morris has it. Sends it top of the circle to Mitch Kerber down in the corner to Cooper. He's the key individual for the Peyton City Wildcats, according to their head coach, Bob Burton. Morris to Kerber, top of the circle. Let's to fly good. Well, I'll tell you, contrasted styles, both of them playing defenses, zone, but different. 2-2 Two -two your score with a basketball. The Millionaires at Bramwell High School from Mercer County, West Virginia. The Southern team against the Northern team, if you will. And the Class AA Championship, the Northern team victorious. It's Wheeling Central Catholic, one point better than the Vincent Tigers. In close, Lamont Woods connects on his first two points of the basketball game. It's 4-2. Bramwell on top. Cooper with the jump shot, partially blocked away by Lamont Woods, and he'll be whistled for a personal foul. Shoemaker, the little guard from Bramwell, is coming up awful high. If Cooper, the guard from Payton City, gets that head start at midcourt, Fred, and beats him, he'll drive right into the middle, and he's going to come up right up against Lamont Wood in the middle of that 1-3-1 one -one defense. That could be a key if Wood doesn't learn to play him tough. He could draw fouls on him. Troy Cooper, a youngster that has scored 18 points in each of the first two games for the Peyton City Wildcats. It's the first of two free throws. Your score is 4-3. It's now 4-4. Four -four. We're tied again as Cooper makes both. At 1-3-1, they'll pressure at midcourt. Peyton said he had one double team, then he jumped back into their defense once the ball's away. There it is. Scott Goings gets it to Chris Shoemaker near the midcourt strike. Down in the corner. They work it to Sean Wright. They'll send it back outside on the right side to Shoemaker. Far side to Goings. In underneath to Jenkins. Pretty pass. Shot won't go. Tipped up once by Lamont. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Peyton City Wildcats. Kerber gets it to Cooper. Way outside. Off the front of the iron. No good. Kerber has the rebound. Takes it to the hole. The shot won't fall. Rebound pulled down by Goings for Bramwell. He gets it over to Shoemaker and the Millionaires on the run. Top of the key. Gets the pass down along the left side to Lamont Woods. His jumper's up in air. Boy, he's hot right now, and they're going to him. Lamont Woods, an outstanding left-handed shooter with a soft touch. Two field goals and four points. Your score is 6-4. For the Bramwell Millionaires inside, they try to get it to Harlan off his fingertips. First turnover of the basketball game against Peyton City. Cooper came up, looked over the defense, and saw Harlan open underneath, and he skipped it right clear across behind the defense, but it went out of bounds. It'll be interesting to see if Shoemaker tries to find Lamont Woods again. As Jay mentioned, he's hot right now. He has two field goals and four of their six points. They lead it 6-4 at the 5.50 mark of the first quarter. Inside, they get it to Woods. Turnaround jumper, had the double clutch. Won't fall, but the loose basketball pulled down out of the air by Scott Goins. He returns it, puts it up and in. 8-4, Bramwell on top of Peyton City by four points. In the corner, Morris, short jumper, air ball, released, pulled out out of the air by Sean Jenkins. And the Millionaires on the run again. Up ahead, they get it to Lamont Woods along the baseline. Trap moves in under the basket, shoots the left-handed shot, won't go, and the rebound cleared off for Peyton City. Outlet pass up to Florida Cooper across the timeline in the front court. Stops, dishes off in the corner to Morris. He'll send it back outside to Cooper, near side. They get it to Kerber, in underneath the Harlan, drives the baseline, loses the basketball as he tried to go up. Chased down on the far side, though, by the hustle of Morris. Inside, he'll get it for the pass to Suter. Back it comes to Morris. Morris working with the pass outside to Cooper. Cooper now will set things again for the Peyton City Wildcats. Kerber with the jumper on the left wing. It's good. Well, both clubs right now are pushing that basketball up and down the floor. Defensive transition is important. you got to be able to stop the other team. There's a... 
There's a what? Mitch oh, Kerber grabs up the loose basketball. Sorry, what I'm trying to say, I thought you were going to pick it up. Shoemaker was looking, talking to his coach when Goins threw that ball back, and he laid it right out in the middle of the floor. He picked up and stole it for a bucket. Mental mistake by the 